This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas and I want to talk a little bit about um, some sports stuff. Uh, you know, catching up on my YouTube stuff since I'm stuck here in the house for two weeks but it's cool because I get to do some stuff that I like to do and I love doing these type of videos um it's been a while since I've again I've said this before you'll be hearing that statement quite a bit but it's been a while since I've just talked on subject based things um off the cuff um just stuff that interests me and that's pretty much what I'm going to go back to doing like I said a while ago I want to go back to doing the things that made me happy that I enjoyed doing just doing it because I like doing it not worrying about how it's going to reflect on numbers and things like that. I enjoy talking with you guys. I enjoy sharing my opinion. I enjoy getting feedback. I like having these type of conversations. Um, <clears throat> so, I not continue to do them, you know. Anyway, so, Ezekiel Elliott's been in the news this week because the NFL just has decided um, after their investigations of the allegations of him once again um, putting his hands on a female in a violent manner coupled with the first um, offense that he encountered they decided they were going to suspend him for six games and now as a Redskins fan people think I would be bouncing up and down off the walls that's um, far from the case uh, he, for one it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt or help us because he'll still be available for both of those games. So if it were just a simple issue of fan base opinion, I wouldn't be making this video because shit don't do nothing for us. Um, two, I'm not a petty child and I'm not going to sit here and gloat over some shit like this because this is some real shit. This ain't no fucking um, childish shit. Uh, it's, this is beyond football, in my opinion. And I'll get deeper into why I feel that way. Um... And third, because uh, it, 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 it's not about what, how it benefits a team. It's about what it reflects on this player itself. And I think that's what it should do. And I think that's why I clown the shit out of my boy. Because he's sitting here bouncing off walls, upset, screaming, This is the most unfair thing ever done in the world i can't believe they would do this to him this is wrong he's nobody even said that he did it nobody corroborated her story blah 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 it's like shut the fuck up seriously sit down and shut the fuck up you're sitting here upset at this guy who's put himself twice now in situations where he could be accused if not caught putting his hands on females clearly there's something going on for one if he's always um, in these situations. And two, okay, he's been suspended for doing something wrong. Um, why are you tripping? Now, I, 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 I'm one of those people who agree wholeheartedly that the NFL can go overboard with their suspensions sometimes. Um, I feel like they just throw out an arbitrary number just to be throwing out numbers. I think mostly just to sound more imposing than anything sometimes i don't think they're as serious because we've seen situations like i think we're going to see in this situation where there's numbers thrown out people are acting like oh my god that's a whole lot i don't agree blah blah they appeal and they get it rolled back and i think this guy's going to get it rolled back um I, I think the nfl what they're mostly doing is they're trying to send a message to this kid like dude this is some serious shit that's why i think they came up with that second message where they were like you do this again we're probably gonna have to move to the point where we're just gonna have to like you know spin you from the league period um because they want this kid to know yo we don't want that type of shit going on with our players calm your ass down now you can make the argument about whether or not the nfl has a right to to oppose penalties on things that happen to people's personal lives and all that but um somewhere in that contract it must shows that as a representative of the league, they have the right to enforce, um, you know, suspensions and punishments for people who do things of that nature, or else it wouldn't be happening. Um, so, 
I think if if you're a fan of a team and you want your fandom to rule over how you think and your logic, then your anger shouldn't be towards the NFL. Your anger should be towards the NFL PA. Talk to Demoris um, Smith and find out why is it that they put in a clause that allows for your favorite players to be subjugated to this type of punishment. Because unless they agreed in that last agreement, this shit wouldn't have been happening. You know what I mean? Remember back in the day when players used to get caught doing shit, you didn't get this type of response? That was because it wasn't in the NFLPA agreement. It is now. These players are much more responsible for the things that they do as far as drug use, personal drug use, performance drug use, personal um, issues such as domestic violence um, and things like that. So, talk to Demore Smith um, if you want to be really pissy. Um, more importantly, talk to your player, though. And that's my whole point of this. Is like, And that's why I say that there's more important issues going on here than whether or not a player is good enough to get over 100 yards, you know, rushing every game, and who's a great receiver, dynamic, young, stud player. You know, it's more than that than this, just what he could do for your team on the field. It's this man's life um, that we're talking about for the most part. This kid's only in his second year, and he's already facing a six-game suspension and possible banishment from the league for said behavior. Um, again, I'm not going to sit here and say he definitely did it. I wasn't there. Um, but, you know, the saying where they smoke this fire... And there have been two smokestacks going up over this kid when it comes to uh, domestic violence. So somebody needs to check something and like have a talking to them and make sure that they're they got this kid on the level because he can end up being one of the best players ever to play the game for only a year because he wants to be involved in this type involved in this type of behavior. And it needs to tone down. He needs to get people around him that's going to tell him, yo, dude, I, whether you did it or not, the point is you need to figure out how to remove yourself from situations like this because this isn't good for you, your career. You know, you have an opportunity to do so much with your life right now because of football. Um, don't fucking blow it because of dumb shit, you know? And that's why I don't know why that our outrage isn't lie, lying more there. Like, why are you doing this dumb shit to fuck yourself? We're uh, Again, I understand as fans, we love our teams and we want our teams to do well. But it's not just about them, quote unquote, fucking us or the team. They're fucking themselves. And you shouldn't want to see somebody fuck themselves. Um, you know, I, I especially as an African-American hate seeing young black people fuck themselves. <laughs> um... It's just, you know, it's nothing, you know, against other races. not like, oh, well, he's Hispanic, so I don't care. No, seeing someone like Aaron Hernandez fuck themselves is really fucked up, too. Why are you an NFL player still playing in those um, gang, you know, type things? I don't know. It's the stupidest thing in the world. You know, and now he, you know, took his life because of it. It's the same to see that happen. It's like, dude, you you had an opportunity to separate yourself from real life. That's fucked up. You know, I don't want to see anybody put themselves in a position to fuck themselves. Um, but, of course, being African American, it is going to be closer to home because it's something that I've seen a lot in my family, um, with my friends, and I hate seeing it, you know? It's a part of the close relations that I've had in life, and that's why it will stand out more to me um, seeing that happen to a young brother. Um, I don't want to see Zeke uh, fuck himself up. I don't care how much I love the Redskins, how much I hate the Cowboys. I don't want to see a talented young man fuck his life over. And that's the thing. We are so obsessed with how he's going to fucking help our team that we're not thinking beyond that. It's like, yo, dude, you are in a great position. It's just like the like you know I could say the same thing with the Ben Roethlisberger thing. He was gonna fuck himself. He got lucky that he got off, and Zeke's gonna be lucky too because he's gonna pretty much get off. 
Um, you know, for, as far as I know, there's not going to be any criminal charges, so that's good. A um, couple of games to cool off and just, you know, let the NFL show that they quote-unquote care. Okay, fine. Just get your shit together, dude. And don't do that dumb shit no more. And I think that's where we need to be as fans. Is like, that's our attitude towards this. Like, what? You fuck? You did some dumb shit. Dude, get your shit together. Let's not do this no more. Then you can get back and you can help your team. And you can help yourself. And that, to me, is a better fan reaction. Instead of wanting to excuse him for his responsibilities. Nah, uh, you know, you want your player back fine, back fine. Get him to get his shit together, and then we can move on, and he can help the team. You know, because at the end of the day, why would you want someone who's always in trouble? If you, this player is always getting in trouble doing something, he's a liability anyway, because the distraction now is always focused on how fucked up this dude is. And if he's allowed to go play while he's doing fucked up stuff, now it's how fucked up this organization is. What are they doing? Are they paying off the lead? Now you got a lot of negative controversy surrounding your team off of this. He's not doing your team any good in the public eye. And the drama is probably going to float on the field. Players are going to get upset. And it's just going to fuck up your team. So think, think uh, I'm trying to give people who want to get have this whole fuck the league attitude a lot more to like think about actually to think beyond just like the emotional reaction because there's a lot of shit that can happen by allowing this dude to just quote unquote get off easy um you know so think about the, the like long term consequences him not playing a couple of games is more beneficial to you than him being on that field in my opinion um, but it is what it is. Hopefully, this is the last time you hear about something like this with him. Because again, the guy's a great, tremendous talent. Um, you know, great runner, fierce, just like punishing. He can catch. You know, speed, power. He's got all. He's got it all. He just needs to get it together off the field and keep himself straight. And he'll end up with, like, I think one of the more dynamic careers in the NFL history. But it's all up to him. It's all up to him. Anyway, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This is your boy, Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.